first inspiration for making documentaries was watching Fahrenheit 9 11. <laughs> yeah, I got tongue twisted on a word. My first inspiration for making documentaries is Fahrenheit 9 11, done by Michael Moore. But I think someone had said, oh, he's not like a real person, and it was like this documentary on Netflix. But I'm not going to think of him that way. I'm just going to know that how he made me feel during Fahrenheit 9 11. At such a young age, just that just inspired me to actually practice my religion more and to make films to spread the truth, well, the truth that I know of my religion. Well, I started making, actually, I don't know if you want to count this. I started doing a docu-reality series when, I guess, YouTube became a bit public mm -hmm. in, like, 08 or 09, and I had my uh, show called The Shiny and Warm Show. That Shiny was my first name, but I go by my film name, Fatima, so don't get it twisted. Um, it was Shiny and Warm, I was just documenting, documenting or recording the stupidest things we would do, and I was about 17, 18 at that time. I don't have any of the footage anymore, but I had this small digital camera that my brother had given me it was like really small I, it, I still have it because I was the camera that kind of like kind of got it all started I taught myself how to edit mm. I was using this thing uh, pinnacle I don't even know if that's still available but I was like thinking like I was the boss I had this Acer laptop and I had pinnacle studio and I'm trying to upload this footage and and edit and I had no clue what I was doing and without me realizing all of my shots were just long takes and I'm thinking I'm making a movie but I mean, we we can make a long film with long takes. But if you look back then, that really wasn't filmmaking. I don't know what what the hell I was doing. But yeah. Uh, at first, my dad is an engineer. He's from the Middle East. I was a bit scared. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm picking a career that there is like a slim chance I would make money. But I didn't care. I'm passionate about it. And uh, eventually. I was in an engineering class and assigned, I was really sad going to class because I used to document me and all of my classmates work. Mm -hmm. I think I still have a video of that. I think I have one. I recorded our process of making this machine that would twirl on its own. And one of the girls told me, she was like, Fatima, I don't think you belong here. I think you are like an artist or something. And I was like, I know, but I was con creek and fixed on making money. So, I was like, okay, I know I don't like engineering. I got, I was a software engineer, and I was like, okay, my dad is an electrical engineer. I need to be a software engineer. I got to keep up the tradition of the family. But when I went to class, when they, a uh, slideshow, the first thing that came down is that engineering isn't everything, and that was the day I went to go change my major. It was in October of 2012 or 2011. I can't remember, but... Mm -hmm. I went and I changed my major, and I didn't tell my dad until it was time for me to get registered again. I was like, so um, I changed my major to film, and his response was, you better make the best films. Like, that's, that was, that's his response, and that's what I've been doing, well, trying to do. How often do I film with friends or family? Uh, it depends on the project and the time because you know film. I love filmmaking. I have a, I have a love hate relationship. Sometimes it is overwhelming, and sometimes you just want to help everybody. And then, then these long hours kick in. Then you get sleep deprived. Then it's like I need a break. Where because sometimes when one thing goes wrong on a film set, everything goes wrong behind it. So I have to help people in moderation. <laughs> I tell people in moderation and then I need to take like a break. Like give me like a two week break, nobody call me and ask me or talk to me about a film project. But I help often, whenever something is needed and whenever I have time, I will help. Documentaries are my favorite type of film because I can tell people stories who can't get their stories out there. It's not a, f and I'm not saying that, well in documentary we do, it's not fabricated, but I can bring somebody's life to life through a film. Um, like my recent documentary, I humanized an individual who was handicapped. And by getting a compliment on humanizing her, that, that says I did my job. That's why I like documentaries more because I don't have to worry about making up a false character and trying to tell my characters, oh, or actors, get in this person's head. You're not Fatima anymore. You're Beyonce. Well, I wouldn't mind being Beyonce, but 
you're Beyonce, so think like Beyonce. Tell me what Beyonce did. I think that's just too much and overly dramatic for regular filmmakers. I feel, I like the simple life. I like to just go in, meet somebody, get, build relationships, build bonds with people and, and document their life. That's why I like documentaries more because it's, everything is real. No one has to be fake. I mean, of course I might add a little bit to create some drama in a film if a person is too boring, but that's why I like documentaries. My favorite hobby is I like to smoke hookah. <laughs> like, leave me alone. Let me be in my corner and just give me a hookah. Leave me alone. Don't talk to me. But yeah, that's, that's like my favorite hobbies. Or watching documentaries on Netflix and wondering like, man, this thing is like really crappy. How in the world did they get on Netflix? How come I can't get on Netflix? But yeah, that's another hobby. My free time, I research um, other business adventures. Of course, like when you're a filmmaker, you have to learn the business, not just the not just the creative side, but you need to learn the business side. So, uh, I I study the business side more so than the creative side. I feel like I understand the creative side now. I need to know how to make my films work for me. Um, I haven't. My last film I made was about a year ago. Mm. Like, I, no, I'm lying, because it's 2017. The last time I filmed for my documentary was April of 2017. Mm. I had the final cut done by May, because I had to. And I haven't filmed for my personal documentaries in a while, but I help other people on theirs filming different documentaries. So, yes, I participate in a lot of people's documentaries. Um, my main job is, of course, people like for me to ask questions. I don't like to ask questions with certain people uh, because I feel like when they invite me on a project I don't say I don't open my mouth because I feel like it's their project they know what to do they're the director so I won't step on their toes but my main job is camera person put up a little light put up a camera boom start rolling 